How's everybody doing? Good. Oh, boy. 12 days? 12 days. Yes. Yes. Who's I want coming? To first start by saying, who, who knows the phrase, uh, should I fix it? Are we good? No, no. Uh, day ones, my day ones. You know, those are the people who are with you on day one. You know, when you were just starting to build and a lot of doubters. People who weren't sure, you know, can this happen? Can that happen? Well, I feel like I'm in the midst of my day once because citizen <laughs> <laughs> action, uh, action uh, stepped up uh, in the primary and took some heat on various platforms. Um, for believing in what we're trying to do for the people and believing that um, I'm determined to bring some representation back to the people uh, and so with that I just want to thank you again um, no doubt in my mind that but for your support uh, I would not have won the primary. Uh, and to be in this position, waving the flag, as we come down the stretch for our shared values, means the world to me. And you better believe you got a champion, you got an advocate uh, every step of the way. And we have here a fight that is getting intense. Mm -hmm. It's getting real intense because the stakes are high and people understand what's on the line. And there have been trends now for a good four decades that have eroded our democracy, resulted in staggering inequality, uh, and have only made more systemic, grotesque levels of inequality. Uh, when you're talking 80% of folks sharing 10% of the wealth, when you're talking in Sullivan County alone, one in three kids growing up in poverty, 80,000 folks in this district facing hunger. Two-thirds of folks living paycheck to paycheck. And what blows my mind is since the 2009 recession, recovery, I should say, 95% of all those gains have gone to the top 1%. 95%. So after all of that devastation, the loss of homes, Literally, people losing their assets and their 401ks. The only thing we get is little crumbs, 5% of economic growth for everybody. That's it. That's it. Meanwhile, we get legislation like the bank bill that says, let's roll back the regulations that led us there in the first place. You know who voted for that bill? John Faso. John Faso. Yeah. Now he'll say, oh, the community banks, the community banks, yes, but how come every time we want to help community banks or want to help the everyday American, it's got to come with strings attached. Mm -hmm. It's got to be tied to big, disproportionately, grotesquely, irresponsible, unfair giveaways to folks who don't need. Yeah. At every single turn. Yeah. They say, oh, but the tax bill, you know, there's a little bump in your paycheck. Great, thank you. But why must that be tied? to the big giveaways, 15% breaks. Why? Well, you kind of were speaking to it when I walked in. Because they got a stranglehold on that. Corporate interests, the wealthy, powerful individuals who have access to this system have got their hands all the way in the pockets of individuals like Congressman Faso. All the way in. It's not just the bank bills not just a tax bill, not just a health care. They literally have that, what they call the Financial Choice Act. How about that? Which is the gut, all supervisor authority of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau over banks. Rolls it back. Literally rolls back the rule implemented under the Obama era that says, hey, retiree advisors, put the interests of your clients before your own. 
roll that back. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. Mm -hmm. Who voted for that bill? Bad yes. Yes. Corporate PACs, we don't take those. John Faslow does. Pharmaceutical industries, you don't hear him talking about Medicare negotiating with Big Pharma. There's a reason. Talk about reinsurance, but not talking about universal health care. There's a reason. And it's not just ideology, actually. <laughs> it's just being bought. Mm -hmm. It's not an ideology. It's just being bought. And when you have got to a point where you have this level of inequality, you need distractions to keep people not thinking about the level of inequality. And so, I, I, and I thought a lot about this. I've tried to figure out how we got to this point where it is so divisive. Where every little thing you say can be twisted and used against you and made into a controversy for the benefit of a few. Well, how did, why? Why does that happen? Well, it's a cover up, it's a distraction. It's become the game of politics. It's how do we take things that we know are sensational, controversial, actually manufacture the controversy, and create division and divisiveness to say, hey, look over here. Let's talk about this and not talk about poverty or affordable housing. Don't, don't talk about public schools. Don't, don't dare do that. Don't talk about increasing wages. Don't, don't do that, even though we haven't had, we've had stagnant wages for four decades. Don't mm -hmm. talk about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four mm -hmm. decades. Mm -hmm. but we don't want to talk about that. And as you can see, as more and more of this inequity increases, so too does the divisiveness. It's not, they're not detached. They go hand in hand. So the point now where we, we have hit a tipping point, but we're beyond politics now. We're in the realm of morality and decency, or lack thereof, and grotesque cruelty, uh, and borderline violence. Borderline violence. Violence. So this is the time we're in. And I can tell you something. Uh, as dark as it seems, and as ugly as it seems, um, I'm emboldened. I am emboldened. You know, somebody said to me at a, at a town hall, I was Sunni on the they said, you know, these attack ads, this, all this hip hop stuff, you know, it's horrible. You know, what, is, what are you thinking about? How, how are you dealing with this? I don't understand. This is what, what do you, how do you feel? And I said, determined. That's it. Determined. All it does is put more fuel in the fire. So I, I come with, to you today, this evening, uh, with one message. Put the fears aside, put the doubt aside, put the anxiety aside, put the cynicism aside, put the pessimism aside. Put all that negativity to bed. We don't have time for that. There's already enough out there of that. What we have to do is lean in to our principles. Lean into our values. And do so ferociously. Don't do so half-heartedly or <coughs> nerves, but own it. With some fire. <laughs> Yell and scream it. Do what you got to do, but own it. And run hard and work hard. Because the stakes are no higher at this point. I can't even begin, and I try sometimes, to imagine and fathom a world where November 6th comes and we don't deliver. I don't want that world. I can't live in that world. We cannot live in that world at all. So let's act like it. And I want to thank you for the work you've done. I want to thank you for the determination in your own eyes and the focus. And I just want to ask you, I don't even feel like a hacker. I feel like you're, you're, you're in. But No, no, let's more ships. There can be more ships. <laughs> <laughs> let's just be strong and lean into each other. It's only going to get more ridiculous, okay? It's, it's not going to slow down. It's just going to ramp up. Mm -hmm. So we got to dig our heels in, and we got to work. And just understand that I'm not slowing down. It's not happening, okay? That is not happening. I'm only going to run harder. And I feel the love. I really genuinely feel the love, and that's what gets me going. Because you're damn right I'm tired.
I'm real tired. But when I wake up and I come in the rooms like this and I see the looks, it doesn't take long to get that fire back. So just keep building, keep going. And I, can, I guarantee you this, uh, if we do what we're supposed to do, we work hard, and we lead with our hearts and our values and our principles, I promise you, and I don't break promises, we'll win. Let's win! tonight we talk about that arc right it needs to bend right right yeah we can't bend until each and every one of you take a door knocking chip you <laughs> <laughs> cannot bend until each and every one of you take a door knocking chip so thank you so much for coming out have a great night we have we still have some wine and beer and some food and Frank has a word. <laughs>